Hey everybody, um, welcome to today's messages or this week's messages for October 2nd through the 8th. Um, I just want to start off with letting everybody know um, that I, my heart is absolutely breaking for everybody who's been affected by all of this stuff in Vegas and that absolutely horrific event. Um, you know, I know people who are really struggling right now and there's just a lot of pain going on right now. So I thought that it would be a really great time to bust out some angels, honestly. Um, I had a really weird feeling and most of the time I do these videos on Sundays and I was told just over and over and over again, like, do it tomorrow, do it tomorrow, do it tomorrow. So I do take that um, intuitive hit seriously, and waking up today, I understand why. Um, why I kept getting told to do this today. So let's just go ahead. I, I don't really do meditations with you guys um, only in my classes, but let's just go ahead and take a moment to just take a few deep breaths into the diaphragm. Just tuning in with yourself, tuning in with your body, noticing any points of tension or pain that are coming up for you today. Just go ahead and feel into that. And then since we are working with angels, I'm going to invite you to right now, whoever you enjoy working with, whether it be Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, um, God, Divine Source, what, whatever it is that you do, just go ahead and send some support to anyone who's hurting today anyone who has been experiencing tragedy, loss, grief, anxiety from the collective upset that's happening today. And we're just asking for support right now. So go ahead and notice that. Okay, so and, and anytime you feel like, aside from the obvious donating financially, donating um, blood to help, outside of all of that, really just calling in support is um, going to be helpful for you and everyone else today. I mean, no, prayers alone are not enough. I will be the first to tell you that, but at this point, every every bit helps. So you can't really knock prayers right now. And I'm doing my usual style. Pick a card, any card. <clears throat> I tried to pick some decks that are uplifting, lighthearted. I feel like everybody needs some positive messages today, a little bit of insight as to what's going on with them and the people around them. I'm just going to start off with the angel cards and then um, I'll go through and clarify with a few other decks. Hi there. All right, here's the last one and then I'll go through with these in a moment. Okay, so. 
for spread number one, go ahead and focus on whichever one is calling to you. Spread number one, I have, I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Okay, so this is like a deepening connection with family is really where you're being called. So this assistance isn't just with marriage, if that's something you're trying to manifest, that the, then this is a good omen. But it's also about connecting with your family, connecting with people that you're in some type of union or commitment with, really holding them close, and just sinking into that um, really committed, loving, and um, mutual respect within those relationships that you have. So it's all about supporting your loved ones, holding people tightly right now, and just honoring the time that we do have on this planet. And then the angels of abundance, we have successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to help you. So whatever you are financially supported right now, so make sure that you're moving forward. If you feel really, really called to take action on something, make sure you're doing that and you're listening to those messages. Spread number two, we have Fiona. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So sometimes the assistance just comes in the form of messages, uh, but you still have to take action. So, um, you know, you are being helped right now. Um, or if you've been asking for help, especially this week or over the past, you know, day <laughs> within the past 12 hours, um, this is something where you're receiving help. You just have to allow it and be open to receiving rather than shutting it out, okay? Bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside, enjoy a walk or hike with your pet, meditate beneath a tree garden, or sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. So it really is about anything is possible, you're getting help, support is on the way, make sure you find some time to connect right now. If you don't usually do that, um, just connect, connect, connect um, with people, with nature. Do that 110% right now because it's going to feed your soul at this time. Okay, and spread number three. We have Astara, you deserve the best, reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. So this is a reminder to have hope. So this is, you know, even if you're having a really challenging time right now, this is about really staying hopeful. Make sure that you are finding that glimmer when you can. Now, I want to make sure everyone knows that whatever you're experiencing right now, I'm here to tell you your feelings are valid. You absolutely have every right to be angry, upset, hurt, grieving, in pain for the collective. And I, I will be the first to validate you on that. Um, I just, I do feel it's important to come through right now and just say, hey, here is... A glimmer of hope here's some positive messages that I'm helping kind of you know get your way I know that the world is really filled with a lot of pain and hurt right now um, and so I just feel like these are a little bit more gentle to get through to you okay so here's the second card for spread three let go of guilt when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. What I was just talking about. Um, forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. 
So all the should haves, could haves, would haves need to go. Um, yeah, because that's not allowing you to be your best self. And right now we really need people who are going to be their best selves. Okay, so for spread number one, <clears throat> I have, for today, I create a new goal. Okay, so whatever's going on with this funding or within a relationship or a marriage or if you have a family goal, something that maybe... And if you, if you are directly affected by what happened in Vegas in some capacity, you know, it, this is causing a lot of people to reflect on what's going on and really what they want to create for themselves. And so setting a new goal could easily be um, a result of, you know, the, oh shit, I need to adjust my priorities and really figure this out. So that's kind of what goal looks like right now. And then for spread two, we have, for today, I stand in my power. So making sure that you're respecting your own boundaries. I know that a lot of people are really sensitive. So if you feel like you aren't really in the mood to go on social media or watch the news, that is okay. Um, <clears throat> I completely understand. It's probably a good time to go out in nature instead and just feel a little bit more connected and compose yourself and um, take a moment. Okay, so just stand in your power, whatever that looks like, whether it be professionally or um, personally. Maybe it means you being... A friend, wherever you thrive is kind of where you're needed. So make sure your batteries are charged and you're open to receiving. Okay, and spread three, we have for today, I honor myself. And this is, I honor my feelings. I honor my processes. I honor the things that I'm experiencing and kind of not allowing them to be minimized or invalidated by other people. Um, your, your feelings are valid. Your experiences are valid. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull a couple clarifiers. And then um, I'll pull one from Paulina Cassidy and one from the Alchemist Tarot. Or Alchemist Oracle, excuse me. Okay, for spread one. Ace of Cups. Really, I think that the the message that's coming through for all of this for everybody is fill your cup. Fill it with family, fill it with connection, fill it with friends. Fill it with anything that is healthy right now. Um, you know, like I said with this, you know, making sure that you're continuing to connect with the people that matter most. And this looks like really evaluating your priorities as well on what you want to accomplish. So make sure you're taking really great care of yourself, okay? Spread number two. We have nine of cups. Um, this looks like really needing to set boundaries is coming through. So the reason why I say that is because in this card you can see it looks like she is covering her second chakra with her hands. If that's like right at the point where her second chakra would be and she's blocking it. So what it looks like is setting boundaries is coming through really, really strong. And it's absolutely worth it. One of the ways you can do that is by saying, nope, I need to take some time for myself and you know, collect my energy um, and gain your power so that you can be your best self and you can put yourself in a position to being open to receiving. If you feel that you need to kind of cut someone off from uh, doing, doing something that crosses you or that you're not fond of, make sure you're communicating that and just respect that within yourself, okay? And then for spread number three, we have Knight of Wands. 
So this really is about um, pushing towards your ideas. It looks like um, there's something about kind of moving forward. This looks like a moving forward energy, letting go of the guilt, pushing forward in a positive direction, um, you know, honoring your feelings along the way is what's going to push you into being able to move forward. Letting go of that guilt is kind of the key to you making the most out of this lifetime and calling in more abundance and more um, healthy relationships and so many other things are kind of revolving around this, this guilt picture. <clears throat> okay, so spread number one, I'm going to pull an oracle card for what's going on there. Whoops. Decisions. I'll take that just in case. Okay, so we have decisions. And then let's see what else wanted to come up. Comparison. Okay, so <clears throat> this is, these two things are affecting each other. If you have a decision that you're making, the thing that's blocking you is comparison to others and other people's situations and relationships. So make sure that your decision is exclusively based on what you want for yourself and on holding a, a bigger vision for what you are um, looking to cultivate. Okay, so this is all intertwined with your goal and what you want your future to look like. Your decisions are being impacted by what's going on around you and it's time to just take a step back and reflect okay so spread number two <clears throat> confirmation okay so what's being confirmed for you right now is it a, about a job is it about boundaries is it something in this spread um there's some type of confirmation coming through around the whole like your next steps and your process and what's going on for you. All of that is being confirmed that either something is or is not working. So keep your eyes peeled this week for something coming through and, and just trust the divine source is going to make it really clear for you to say this is or is not working. So the confirmation can go either way. Okay, spread number three. We have masculine. Okay, so the divine masculine energy is about safety. It is about protection. It's about um, holding space in a masculine way. And it, it is very goal oriented and <clears throat> honor, respect. Um, all of those things kind of go in hand with the healthy version of masculine, especially with what's going on right now. <clears throat> We're witnessing a lot of things on this planet that come from an unhealthy masculinity, um, a damaged, tainted masculine form and ideology and so what this is saying is that divine masculine has so many different facets and with this it's like the there's healing going on around the definition of divine masculinity there is some type of transformation <clears throat> happening with the divine masculine here in terms of honoring yourself and your feelings, especially if you really embrace that divine masculinity within yourself, there's almost a blend of honoring your own feelings, respecting your own experiences um, that's, that's really shining through right now. Okay, so that is all that I have for you this week. Um, don't forget to check out my blog. I am doing 31 days of rituals. And so every day it's a new ritual and I post photos and I 
talk about the experience with it and I give you the recipe for it. So <clears throat> make sure you are, you know, following me on Instagram or, or Facebook or both um, if you want updates on all of that. Um, okay, so I hope that you have a better week. My heart is with everybody right now. I'm holding space for everybody right now as best as I can on this level. So I, my, my prayers are with everybody and I really, um, care about you and I want you to have a better week as much as is possible right now. Okay. Um, so I will see you next time. Bye-bye.